Hello, this is Jane. I made a tutorial today about transferring your essay from a Word document into a PowerPoint. So what you will do is um, find your first essay that you wrote, which was a descriptive essay about a scene. And the one I showed you in class was my teaching experience in St. Martin. So at this point, you have your essays back, you have them graded, and I gave you suggestions. You're going to fix it, make sure it's almost perfect. Not that I expect perfection, but as close as you can. And open up a PowerPoint presentation. Now, I already did this one for you, but I'll just go through some basics. The first slide will be your title page. And it's called Essay Number One, Descriptive Essay of a Scene. Because you're going to have four essays on this PowerPoint, that's why I said this is essay number one. This title, My Teaching Experience in St. Martin, as you know, is the same title on my essay. Slide two is going to be your introductory paragraph. Basically, each slide is going to be a different paragraph. So this slide, as you can see, has a background picture on it. It's up to you however you want to structure these PowerPoint slides. You can use other backgrounds, you can use pictures, it's up to you. This is a picture of St. Martin because my essay is about St. Martin, so make it relevant. The next slide and the one after that, they may look the same but they're not. Basically, I kept the same format and the essay couldn't fit all into one slide, so it's just a continuation of the body of the paragraph. This is the picture of me in St. Martin teaching. The final slide, again, is of St. Martin. I have a lot of pictures, so I thought I would use them. And then this is the concluding paragraph. So that is five slides about my first essay. I want to show you a few things that I'm going to be particular about, which I think makes it look professional. Remember that after you combine all of these slides and your essays with all four of your essays, you're going to be saving each of these slides into a JPEG. So you want them to look nice and you want them to look consistent. So if you look at all of these quickly, the font is the same and the size is the same. So let's just highlight this and go up to the toolbar. I chose Calibri and I decided to make it bold. So let's see just normal Calibri, the look of it. It's very difficult to read, especially because the background is busy and it's a picture. So I thought it was best to make it bold. Now, personally, I like Calibri in italics. That's just a preference that I have. And the sizing, again, it's up to you. Play around with it. You might want to change it. Um, I chose 20 because it worked well with all of my other slides. And the other thing I want you to pay attention to is the spacing. So go to the paragraph and go to line spacing. The default is single. So if you look at it, the single is quite squished together, which I don't like. So let's change it. I like to change it to exactly. It gives you more freedom of choosing the spacing. I played around with it. Again, I came up with 30 was the look that I liked. All right. So the next, um, as you can see, I have a picture not as a background, just inserted. And again, the final one is a background picture. So I'll show you how to do those basics, which you may already know. So rather than starting from scratch, I'm going to take this and copy it because I like the font. I'm going to use that. Control C, go to this and I chose this background. It's a new essay, so I thought I would have a new background. All right, so I just control V. 
Essay number two, let's change that. Descriptive essay of a person was our second essay. And I'll just find my second essay that I wrote. It was called My Cool Papa. So let's change that. My Cool Papa. I don't like the blue with this background, so let's go up and change it. I chose a gold color. I thought that looked nice with the background. It's up to you how you want to do yours. Okay, so now I'm ready to cut and paste the introduction. So read what the topic is of your paragraph. This talks about Burke Crawford, who's my father, and I say that he still lives in the small town where I grew up. So I think what I will do is I will put a background of, um, of the small town where I grew up. So while I'm here, let's control right, or sorry, right click copy, and then right click paste. Now, yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'm not going to worry about the font right now. I want to get the background going. So, there's two ways. What you can do is you can insert a picture, go up to insert picture, but I know that I want it as a background. So what you do is highlight the slide, you right click, and you go to format background. So it will bring up, this is um, picture or texture fill, I want picture insert from click file and I have a folder on my desktop with pictures of my father because I know I was going to do this project I like this picture of the wheat field that's a picture in Saskatchewan so I'm going to insert and there you go it inserts it automatically as a background there's another nice feature here it's the transparency it's a slide bar so you can just play around with it and it depends on your font. It's easier to read if it's slightly transparent, but you don't want to go too much. So I think I'll stop there. That looks good. Now, don't apply to all. That will change all of your slides. Um, just close it. There you go. Okay, so my font size and color, it's now... Um, I think I could change it because it's a different essay. I think I'll stick with my Calibri and bold italic. I think I'll go slightly bigger this time, 22. All right, do I want to center it? I think that takes away from the look of the picture. So I'm going to just put it up here. Again, play around, see what you think looks best in your essay. All right, the next one, I'm going to keep the same, this background that I chose. And what is my second paragraph about? Ah, uh, yes, it's describing the look of my father. How he's an old man and his skin is droopy and thin eyebrows. I hope my father doesn't read this. So let's copy it. I do love my father, but um, let's copy it and control paste. Okay, again, um, quickly format it. Calibri bold italic 22. And now I'm going to insert picture this time. Go to insert picture and I want a close-up to show my father's skin, aging skin, so I'm going to choose this one, insert. All right, too big. So to resize a picture, if you, um, if you go from the side, it will change the dimensions, which you don't want to do on a picture, unless you want to make someone look a little thinner, you can. Um, so let's go from any corner. If you drag it, it will keep the ratio. All right, so it depends. Do you want to center it on the side? I think I'll put it on um, the side, the bottom side. I don't like it too, I like a little border, so I'm going to put it slightly away from the um, edge. 
And now, as you can see, this font is black and you can't read it. So I do like consistency, but it's more important that you can read it. So I'm going to have to change the color. Do I want it white? I don't like the look of white. Maybe a gray. Maybe I could do the same gold color. Maybe I'll do that. Um, whatever. Actually, no. I think I'll. I think I'll go gray. The bull, The gold is. T it sticks out too much for my taste. Now you see how I lined up the edge of this with the picture. Just little things like that pay attention to. I think it's more professional if you take your time and notice these things. All right. So notice how this picture, the font is underneath. I'm going to right click this and send to back. There we go. So the fonts in front. Now you don't want the font over the picture. So what you will do is just highlight the part that you want to move and you're going to have to open another text box. So let's cut, go up to the scissors, and then right click, paste. Now this option is really helpful. Paste option, keep source formatting, then the same size and font will be there for you already. And let's bring it over to the side and position it so the spacing is sort of similar. Um, I'm going to change the spacing. So again, I'm going to, um, I'm going to stop this tutorial because from here on in, I think you can handle, uh, handle the rest of it. So what I want you to pay attention to is consistency of the font and how you arrange pictures and, um, creative details. Be creative with it and, uh, good luck. Have fun and I hope this helped.